Hi everyone, I'm Harshit from Team Themeile. A month ago, we have launched a new version of Neep Theme. In case you haven't updated your theme yet, you can do it from your WordPress dashboard. In that new release, we have launched some new features, improvements, as well as some enhancements. So in this video, we will give you a walkthrough of all those new features. So let's get started. Starting up with a new onboarding experience, which will help you to set up your starter sites. On top, you can see the filters by which you can filter out the starter sites. I will choose the university one. Here you can upload the logo and you can see the preview also. Now you can also select the color palette. I will choose this one. You can also change the typography. I will choose this one and you can click on continue. On the next step, there will be some uh, pre-required plugins which will be installed like the site builder as well as the contact form. And there are some optionals uh, like image optimization, caching and e-commerce. So I will choose the image optimization as well as caching plugin, which is important for a site to load faster. Let's import the website. Start importing. Now in few minutes, your site will be up and running. Okay, I will skip this. We have completely revamped the Neve dashboard, making it more easy to use and giving it a modern look. If you are just getting started with Neve, you will find a get started section with some quick links, which will help you to set up the essential settings and followed by a recommended plugins section where you will find some plugins. In case those are helpful, you can install it and they all come from Themile family. So there will be no compatibility issue. Moving on, if we go to the settings tab, you will find general setting, performance, white label, and you can also manage modules. In case you don't want to enable any particular module, you can disable it by simply clicking on the toggle button. For all the content creators out there, we have made the blogging experience even better. Unit will tell you more about this. Hey everyone, uh, Unit from uh, Tmile here. Uh, so in our uh, latest release, we uh, redesigned um, the blog section. We redesigned the default, uh, how it looks by default. Um, I hope much better. We uh, so we created a dedicated setting for blog. We moved it out of layouts for for better clarity, uh, and we aggregated some of the sub settings. So on the the blog archive uh, page, uh, we brought also the sidebar layout setting here. Uh, we brought added the post per page setting. We redesigned those control uh, so we can move some of the settings in the corresponding panel for for more clarity. Uh, and uh, we also added an image aspect ratio and we changed the image aspect ratio by default. This was, a lot of people were asking for that uh, and it's very helpful when you have different, different types of, uh, different sizes of, uh, of images. Uh, we moved the design settings in a separate design tab. Um, so I think that's, we brought also the typography settings here. That's pretty, uh, pretty much it. You can tweak a lot more uh, some of, uh, some of those things as you, as you like. Uh, I hope you'll, you'll enjoy it in the single post. Uh, the same, we change how it looks by default. Uh, we we upgraded the controls uh, here, and um, hopefully makes it make it make it easier to to work on. I hope you enjoy it. Next, let's talk about how we have made the social integration even more flexible. Rodika will tell you more about this. Hi everyone, Rodika from Timayo here. Uh, as part of our latest release, we've we're excited to share that we've heard your feedback, and make sure to provide more icons for the social icons component. Uh, we've added medium, blue sky, threads, and much more. Um, also, apart from this, we've also made sure to offer you an easy way of adding your own custom icons uh, using this new, new control. Hope you will uh, enjoy it. Thank you. Moving on, we have improved the creation process of custom layouts. Now it is more simplified and require less technical knowledge. So for example, you can create a new custom layout by clicking on add new layout. And now you can see some predefined categories, uh, which you can choose based on your use case. I will choose 404 page and add layout. Here you can give it a title. I will give it a title like 404 page and you can design it according to your needs and you can publish it. Let's see what else we have on the custom layout page. So you can see that all the custom layouts will be shown here and with the type location, as well as their short code, and you can copy their short code and paste it where, wherever you would like to add them. 
in the end i would like to thank you for using neve and if you have any suggestions please feel free to drop them into the comment section Thank <laughs> you.